Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to censor or pixelate out certain parts of your video in Magic's new Vegas 16. To start off, I'm going to show you what the end product's going to be. And as you can see, I've censored out this fire right here. The fire is pixeled out all the way till the end of this clip. And the cool thing about Magic's 16 is that it does it automatically now, and I'm going to show you how. So first I'm going to delete that. Drag and drop in a clip. First thing I want to let you know, though, is this is kind of finicky so it works best on videos that were shot in at least 60 frames a second anything lower and it detecting blur it kind of airs out so you got to watch out for that so i'm using some video game footage that i recorded and it's in 60 frames a second so once you've dragged your footage onto your timeline i'm going to ungroup it by hitting the u key and then that separates the audio from the video i want to duplicate the video to a timeline above it by holding control and just dragging up now i have two of the same thing the top one is going to be the one we're going to be masking, and the bottom one's going to show the regular footage. So basically, we're going to be putting an effect on the top one, but trimming it down to where it's only overlaying on certain parts of it. So Vegas 16 adds this new masking tool called Bezier Masking. We're going to click that, and it gives you a couple shapes to choose from. Since I'm going to be censoring this fire, I'm just going to go with the circle shape. I'm going to drag that onto the top one, and you see it adds this little sizable tool on our timeline. I'm going to mute the base clip so we can see just specifically what we're cutting out. And I'm going to drag this over the fire. You want to get this as exact as possible because it's going to be looking for this every single frame. That looks pretty great now. Let's see if that airs out. So in options, you could do a few things with it. If you open up general options in Mask 1, you can feather it if you want it, which feathers the dark edges into the video. But I'm going to keep it just plain circle. Go under Mask 1, go under Tracking, and hit Start and you're gonna see it's gonna go by every single frame of the clip and it's gonna be putting the mask over the exact spot that it thinks you want and now that that's done let's see what it looks like okay it's following the fire pretty good all the way till I flash over the wall so let's see what that looks like here perfect now we can add the effect now Vegas has the built-in pixelation effect. You can also blur it if you wanted, but I'm just going to do pixelation real quick. And we're going to do large pixelation, drag and drop it over the top. And there you go. You see the fire is blurred. We're going to increase that just to gain just for visual purposes. There. Now we play it. It has censored the fire all the way till the fire is no longer in the frame. And that is it. So this video helped you out at all. Be sure to do the trifecta and like, subscribe, and share because that will really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.